everybody, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It's Morbid Gossip, where we talk about anything from true crime to mysteries to abandoned and haunted places in the history about them. Today we have episode 2 of Deadly History. Last episode we talked about three separate events, but today we have one. Today's event is the Chernobyl disaster. Now most of you, that may ring a bell, but let's get into what the Chernobyl disaster is. Chernobyl, Ukraine, with a previous population of about 14,000 residents, now sits mostly abandoned, other than scientists, workers, some stray animals, and a few residents. But let's rewind. Chernobyl was a fairly new city in Ukraine. It was a mostly young adult city with population increasing as they had kids. With one of the main focuses of the city being the nuclear power plant. This power plant was built in about 1977. It was used to make electricity for daily needs. Everything known to the city would change April 28th, 1986 at 1.23 a.m. when one of multiple explosions took place in Reactor 4 of the nuclear power plant, blowing the roof off. The wind actually took some of the radiation to places like Russia, Europe, and others. Radiation can affect the atoms in living things and can pose a health risk like cancer and it can damage the tissues of the body. And high doses of radiation are deadly. The fires caused by the explosion were put out in the first couple of hours by firefighters and by the end of all of this, about 28 firefighters would have died. Some workers and people were taken to the hospital and the clothes taken from them, and firefighter suits taken from them and put in the hospital basement are still highly radioactive today, just like Chernobyl. And if you have the question of is Chernobyl livable today, the answer would be not really. The city is still highly radioactive and can cause many health problems. It is not said to be inhabitable for at least 20,000 years. After the fires were taken care of, the next step would have been to clean up. Over hundreds of thousands of liquidators came to help clean up during 1986 to about 1987, though some of these people would get high doses of radiation doing so. Residents would have evacuated, though some would end up returning, even with the risk. In the end, all reactors would shut down, and the city would never be the same. All of this would not only affect Chernobyl, but neighboring towns like Pripet as well, as they evacuated most never returning. Now, obviously, there's probably more information out there about this. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Deadly History, episode two. If you guys want more Deadly History episodes, just leave me a comment down below. And if you have any other true crime, mysteries, abandoned, or haunted places you would like me to talk about in the next video, please leave me a comment down below. I do read all of my comments. And if you like this kind of stuff, then please like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel. And thank you. Have a great day.